Hello, welcome to Storytime with Yao, a truthful couple. Today I will be reading King Arthur and the Sword in the Stone, a retelling by Kari Meister, illustrated by Sahin Erkosak. Rain poured from the sky. A hooded man waited at the edge of the moat. Who goes there? yelled a guard. Merlin, the magician, said the man. King Uther is waiting for me. The drawbridge lowered, and Merlin entered the castle. He walked the long candlelit halls. He heard a baby cry. King Uther was surprised to see Merlin. You have come for my son already? he asked. He was just born. Merlin nodded. It is for the good of your kingdom, he said. Soon there will be a battle. You will die. If I don't take your son, your enemies will kill him. I will hide him. He will be well trained. He will be the greatest king to ever rule England. Uther knew that Merlin could see into the future. He kissed the baby goodbye. Be well, Arthur, Uther whispered. Grow strong, be kind and fair. Merlin took baby Arthur and slipped out the back gate. Merlin took the baby to a village. There he found Sir Ector. This is King Uther Pendragon's son, Merlin said. There will be a battle. Uther will die. Raise Arthur as your own son. Tell no one who he really is. Then, just as Merlin said, there was a battle. King Uther died. The baby grew into a strong boy. Sir Ector and his wife loved Arthur as much as their older son Kay. Together, Arthur and Kay learned to ride horses and use swords. They learned when to be tough and when to be kind. For many years, there were battles throughout the land. Merlin watched and waited. Finally, it was time to tell his secret. When Arthur was 16, Merlin put a giant rock in the church courtyard. A sword was stuck in the rock. On the blade were these words. Whoever can pull this sword from this stone is the rightful king of all England. Many people tried to pull the sword from the stone. No one could do it. The sword won't move. What should we do now? The people asked Merlin. The true king is near, said Merlin. Have a tournament, a day of contests. He will come. Pack the horses, Arthur, said Sir Ector. Your brother Kay is old enough to be in the tournament. You can take care of his helmet and sword. Days later, at the tournament, Kay called to Arthur. Arthur, said Kay, I need my helmet and sword. Arthur found Kay's helmet, but where was the sword? Hurry, said Kay. I must have forgotten it, said Arthur. I'll go find one. Arthur ran through town. He didn't know where to look. Then he saw the sword in the stone. Arthur pulled on the sword. It came out easily. When Arthur gave Kay the sword, Kay said, This isn't my sword. Where did you get it? From the stone by the church, said Arthur. It's the sword from the stone, a knight yelled. The boy pulled the sword from the stone. No one could believe it. Put it back, Arthur, said Sir Ector. Show us what you did. Arthur did as he was told. The sword came out again. Let us try, yelled the knights. No one could make the sword move except Arthur. Merlin stepped from the crowd. Yes, he said. Arthur is the true king. He is the blood son of Uther Pendragon. Everyone was amazed. 
but the boy who was crowned king was amazed most of all. All hail King Arthur, the crowd cheered. The end. Thank you for listening.